Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we decided we're gonna go rock hounding. Um, we're looking for zeolite, I think is what it's called. Um, we'll see, I have to look that up. But for my birthday, Alex made me a love calendar. So cute. Every weekend I flip one of these up and we do whatever it says. So the first one I fl flipped was build a fort and movie. That was cute. Actually, that was in my first vlog that I posted. Um, then I got a back massage. Uh, we have a family day coming up planned. And then today we're going to rock hound. We're going to Dottie Hill, which is south of where we live. I'm super excited. I hope we find some good finds. It looks like, based on what I saw from research, is... The stones are more sharp and um, almost like crystal quartz, but they're not tra as translucent. So wish us luck and we'll see you out there. lost <laughs> we were gonna walk 3.7 miles that way because this yellow gate up here is closed and locked so we can't drive but we're that was the plan is to drive past the gate up the 3.7 miles and then we'd be by our quarry that we're looking for but it's getting late and 3.7 miles is just too long because that's one way. Come on, Mel, let's go. So we're going to try a different route and hopefully that works because I really want to find these. And we drove for like an hour, right? Oh my. Might want to lift the camera up a little. Anyways, come on, Mel. It's definitely an adventure rock hounding. I feel like we always get lost somehow. <laughs> yeah. That's that's half the battle is just like finding the spot. Yeah. And so far just throughout like going with friends and stuff. And even when we went to Hanson Creek. Like I, I think we went to a different spot than a lot of people. Because mm -hmm. there were cars below. Yeah, it's just confusing when you're following. Well, and sometimes there's, directions. it's on, like, restricted property or like restricted access stuff. So it just makes it a little sketchy. Yeah. And then when the, the, nine times out of ten, you go somewhere where there's gunshots because people are practicing shooting. Because usually you have to, you find the good stuff in quarries. And that's also where people go to shoot because... Blow stuff up. Yeah, it's it's safer. I guess. <laughs> then there's people like us who are looking for rocks. <laughs> yep. Like beware so. of rock hounds. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Well, we'll see where the next clip takes us. snow <laughs> oh where the adventure takes us i'm really hoping we find something or else i'm gonna be upset <laughs> that we came all this way 
for nothing, but I still have hope, so. I didn't wear the correct gear for this, so. I should have worn my rain boots. She's never seen snow this high. I would have brought my other boots too, but we didn't expect it to snow. No. <laughs> it would be any snow at all. Not at all. This lush is untouched. I know. It's like a good six inches of snow. <laughs> no, you gotta stay with me. <laughs> Come on, Mel. my echo, baby. <laughs> but look at how, it drops, how much it drops off. We should go up to the red rock up there. So this is the natural light. I hope I'm saying that right. Look at that. Look at This doesn't quite look like the natural light. Let's see. Look at that. I know, buddy. <laughs> I know. Rocco's leading me up this way. I feel like he's onto something. He knows where it's at. Where is it, Rocco? Where do I go next? Buddy, now what? This is this way. Up here? Melly, good girl. Yes, sit. Good girl. Oh, to live in that. <laughs> wow. You're so good. <laughs> Excuse me. Problem is, it breaks. It breaks. Uh huh. But depending on your piece, you might be able to do it, like the angle and stuff. Yeah. I got a little good piece. Okay. Uh, let's see, watch out, baby.
You want the hammer? She dropped my phone. Girl. Come on now. Hey guys, it's been about a week <laughs> since we went rock hounding. Um, but I just wanted to pop in and show you guys what we found. We found some pretty good gems, I gotta say. It was a little scary going up the mountain at first because one, we didn't really know where we were going. We were taking a chance after not finding the original spot we were planning on going to. Um, so it was scary because we were going up, up, up the hill and then snow appeared. And then there was also like a whole deer carcass. Like you could see the whole skeleton. Yeah. It was pretty sus. So. Yeah, that was freaky. Yeah, it was, but it ended up being fine. We were all, all okay. And I think found some good pieces and had a good time. So it was definitely worth it. But yeah, so check out what we got. Hey guys, check out the natural light we found. Also, let's play a drinking game. Take a shot every time I say, look at this or check it out in the video. <laughs> so this is one of my favorite pieces that we found. Um, it has clear indication of natural light based on that milky pineapple looking area. Um, or it also kind of looks like an accordion fan to me. But yeah, that was a pretty pretty dope find. Here, I honestly don't even know what this is. I think it must be in the geode family. Um, just a a piece of a breakage. Up in those mountains, a lot of the rubble would just crumble in your hand. This one also is a geode. One of my faves that we found. Loki looks like a baked potato. <laughs> More geode. Very shiny and pretty. Geodes, I don't know what their properties are when it comes to healing, but as for natural light, I think I read that um, it can help your third eye, um, so something to do with the chakras, I really don't know, but the more I get back into rock hounding, I'm going to start researching all of this again, because it is interesting, like diving into the realm of healing properties and, you know, being one with the earth. I think just ties hand in hand with with the crystals and how they emerge from the pressure and the volcanic activity um, and we have a lot of mountains and volcanoes in our area so there's some there's some pretty gem spots no pun intended okay this is also another natural light example um, you see those like shards it almost looks like glass um, super pretty this was one of my proud finds as well. And on the other side, it almost looks like like quartz. Um, super milky quartz. But I don't think it actually is. Who knows, though? If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Oh, this one also is beautiful. And guys, when you go rock hounding, sometimes, a lot of times, you don't even have to do a lot of hard work chipping at the mountain or the rock quarry side. I found this just on the ground. Like someone, I don't know, maybe someone shot a can in the, in the quarry one day and then it just fell because it was just laying pretty on the ground. So that was a good cop right there. Um, okay, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> All right, so, oh, another good natural light example. Super milky, but it's very beautiful. <clears throat> so I was reading about natural light, and it was found by a German chemist in 1803, and it's named after the Greek word natron, meaning soda, due to its sodium content, and lithos, meaning stone, equals natural light. So... You can also find natural light in many different countries like Australia, Canada, France, Italy, Norway, Spain, UK, US, and I'm sure many more. So it's pretty common, it looks like. But um, 
we found it in Dottie Hills, Chehalis, Washington. So, yeah. Those were our finds. It was a really fun trip. I'm excited for the next one. Um, this one's beautiful, too. And see, like, I don't know what this is, so I would love for someone to help me out with that because... Just because it says natural lights in the area, this could be, this very well could be something else. I don't know. You tell me. So that's what we found. Um, and until next time, I really want to go to Denny Creek, which is up north instead of south where we went. So that may be our next rock hounding trip. I don't know. It's, it's springtime now, so tis the season. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll catch you next time. Peace. Peace.